Welcome back to Informant. As always, I'm Jalen Russell, joined again by Jalen Gray, and we're going to jump right into the news from Saturday, last Saturday. Uh, so there were three executive orders signed that day. The first one added the White House chief strategist, Stephen Bannon, to the National Security Council and took the director of national intelligence and the chairman of Joint Chiefs of Staff off of that council. Uh, additionally, there's another one that mandated that administrative officials leaving government agencies can't lobby those federal agencies for five years after their departure. The last executive order mandated that the military leaders have 30 days to construct and present a plan to defeat ISIS. All right, moving on into Sunday, Rudy Giuliani came out and told the world that President Trump had asked him how to do a Muslim ban legally, and he, of course, advised him to focus on danger and not religion. Um, Tim Kaine also, in response to statements made by the White House on the Day of Remembrance of the Holocaust, uh, you know, basically said that the White House denied the Holocaust, and Wright's Priebus came out and basically said that the White House has no regrets on their statement. Um, lastly, the judicial branch, uh, it was discovered, was removed from uh, whitehouse.gov. Uh, kicking off Monday, there was another executive order passed known as the two-for-one deal, uh, where agencies must revoke two regulations uh, for every regulation that they want to add, every new regulation they want to add. Um, and then the last big news from Monday was the acting attorney general at the time, Sally Yates, ordered the Department of Justice not to defend Trump's ban. And in response, a couple hours later, she was relieved of her duties. Okay, on Tuesday, it was discovered that Betsy DeVoe, the uh, nominee for Secretary of Education, uh, may have plagiarized some of her answers to the Senator's questions, the written questions following her uh, hearing. Uh, there were also reports that the White House is drafting two executive orders that would uh, either screen out or deport immigrants that require public assistance. Um, surprisingly, uh, President Trump came out and said that he will enforce uh, and it, an executive order uh, presented by the Obama administration, which banned federal contractors from discriminating against the LGBTQ T community or LGBTQ community. <laughs> um, last but not least, uh, Neil Gorsuch, a conservative judge from Colorado, uh, was nominated for uh, the last or the open spot on the bench for the Supreme Court. On Wednesday, Donald Trump kicked off Black History Month by uh, having a speech, and in that speech he talked about Frederick Douglass and said he's a man that has done an amazing job and is getting recognized for that more and more, which brought up questions yep. around the nation if, if Donald time. Trump knows who Frederick Douglass is and the fact that he is no longer with us. Um, lastly, on Wednesday, Rex Tillerson was confirmed as the Secretary of State by Congress. Okay, on uh, Thursday... Uh, Trump tweeted uh, threats to cut federal funding to the University of California at Berkeley after protests from the night before turned violent in response to uh, a Breitbart writer's uh, planned appearance to the university. Uh, Trump also vowed to destroy the Johnson Amendment, which prohibits churches and tax-exempt organizations from endorsing uh, candidates. And uh, there, is a bill, there was a bill that was introduced to the House that basically backs up this uh, plan. And big news on Friday, uh, there was a report that came out that said 227,000 jobs were added in January, which represents 76 consecutive months of job growth in the U.S. Um, additionally, the U.S. placed sanctions on Iran following a ballistic missile test in Tehran earlier in the week. Um, and lastly, a federal judge, James Robart, halted Trump's ban uh, on immigrants and Muslims, or from those Muslim countries. And it has been found that 100,000 visas have been revoked by Trump's ban. That is all we have for you this week on Informant. Thanks for watching.